welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is uh, show and tell for the targets we made, Kevy and I. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video where we outlined what kind of materials we were using and how we were planning to accomplish this, I'll link it in the description box below. And uh, I just, today I wanted to show you the kind of targets we came up with. They're all glued to Bristol board backing and uh, all different kinds of designs, different challenges. Um, there's a, a few games like this one uh, and this one actually, both of them. You try and get the lowest score. So there's like a 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, the closer you are to the bullseye, the smaller the score. So you, that's your objective, right, is to get the smallest. Um, but there's all kinds of designs, all kinds of intricacies. Uh, we used all kinds of different objects, traced them outlined, and sometimes interior lines, um, hole saws, tape measures, <laughs> little... Uh, mini uh, amps and stuff like yeah, it's kind of cool these are all unique and individual and we had a lot of fun making them and I think we've saved a lot of money uh, and and created a lot of fun too you get one of those hundred pack of targets and they're all the same uh, that can get kind of boring Liz, look at this one Kev made this one shoot O's not X's so in the O, you don't shoot here, you shoot here. <laughs> um, but there's all kinds of different sizes and objectives on shooting these. And we each had a hand in them, so it's kind of cool. That was a tape measure. <laughs> um, there's, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this design. I love this one. And this one. That is... That is going to be really hard. <laughs> going to need a scope for that one for sure. I'm not going to do that two eyes with a pistol. Anyway, uh, so from here we're going to go outside and shoot at these things and see how the scratch art paper reacts and what kind of uh, accuracy we can do. And uh, stay tuned, instant for you. Okay, guys, we're outside now. I have a uh, one of my targets that I made lined up in the uh, uh, pellet trap there. I am borrowing my hubby's QB78 22 cal uh, rifle with a scope on it. And it's going to be firing Predator Polymag 16 grain. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what this uh, target reacts like. I have not shot one of these before. We just made them, so uh, I'll leave it zoomed in so you can see where the shot hits and see how well I can do here. All right. Oh, nice. Up high and just to the right of the line. I should also mention this is the first time I'm using this QB78 too, so <laughs> there's a lot of firsts going on here. Alright, let's see if I can hit one of those. Just high. Ugh. <laughs> With a dot scope, you can compensate for your sight. The wind's kicking you a little bit, so... Yeah, there's a wind. To compensate a little bit. <laughs> a little bit to the right. <laughs> Those are fun targets to shoot, man. They, uh... They really do splatter. And it's a rainbow colored splatter too. It's kind of cool. Oh, nice. Got it in the mark that time. 
Nice. I like you the gun. <laughs> All right, now we have other targets here. We have one inch styrofoam balls <coughs> on skewers. So I'm going to zoom in to the three I'm looking at doing here. Okay, there's the three styrofoam balls that I'm shooting at. Hubby's already had his turn at the styrofoam balls and he's terrorized them. The sticks too. <laughs> the sticks too, yeah. The sticks aren't safe either. <laughs> this gun. Nope, nope, not the mighty QB, my. Oh, I saw something fly off it there. Good stuff. Chew time. Chew on the styrofoam. Try that again. Whoa! Saw that fly. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. fly, be free! Okay, now, time to refocus the camera. And our final uh, targets. Okay, I gotta zoom out a little bit because they're spread apart. I'm gonna be shooting these uh, wavy sticks uh, down underneath the bench. And, uh, they were dollar, Dollarama as well, with bingo daubers. And, uh, let's see how they fare against the mighty QB. Nice. Bullseye in the red and split the stick. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Next stick. Elegant tongue depressors, no more. <laughs> They're actually wavy stick crafty things. Uh, but they work excellent as targets. Okay, next one over, let's see. Let's see how I do on this one. There's a chunk missing out of the top of that. <laughs> These are a lot of fun. They weren't very expensive to, to uh, purchase the materials. And you get to shoot your own creation. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's try the bottom red on the right hand. Kind of like calling pool, you know? We should have made a pool target. Yeah, that one just, just above the red circle on the bottom. So it's hot out here today. It's a bit of a breeze, and there are flies. Oh, to get good enough to shoot the wings off a fly.
just above the blue circle. What? <laughs> okay, let's try and get the center of the top red, and then I'll end the video and uh, shoot the rest of these. Oh, took off the right side of the circle. <laughs> That's a lot of fun, guys. And it's not very expensive, like I said. So you can have a lot of fun for a little money. And with two air gunners in the house, you really, really, really need to save some money. <laughs> Especially when it comes to targets and ammo. So uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.